What's up, love squad? Hey, I just wanted to tell you before I actually started to pick a card um, because um, I just recorded it, but I was so inspired. I wanted to make sure everyone got this information. I am making a playlist for this series. This is the Pick a Card Romance series, and I will be incorporating some meditation videos into this series uh, based on the insight that I've been getting for each group. So definitely, definitely click the, the bell notification and subscribe so that you can stay up to date with that. Thank you so much, and without further ado, let's get into this Pick a Card reading. Yay! <laughs> Hey loves, this is Kim from Clarity with Kim and I'm continuing with the Romance Pick a Card series with Archangel Michael. So I just want to explain my readings uh, so you understand what's going on. I do whiteboard readings. So what I do is I'll write some insight for each per or each group here. And you can see here we have group one, two, and three, okay? So for the pick a card, you're going to pick your group. And I will write your insight here. It might be affirmations, keywords, thoughts, ideas, suggestions, questions you might want to journal about, something like that. And you can find me online. I'm on Facebook at Clarity with Kim to see all my videos all my, and um just get more information about what I do. All right, so take a moment, take a deep breath, inhale, exhale, and the question is, where is my relationship headed? What's going on? Is it worth it? Am I wasting my time? This is the vibe, okay? We're focusing on this today. We're going to start with group one. Hmm. Archangel Michael is saying, pay attention to your dreams. Let's look at what's going on here. Hmm. Okay, where is your relationship headed with your boo? All right, first let's start with the Archangel Michael card. And I am doing a new setup. and <laughs> still learning how to do this setup and place things just so y'all can see them. So anyways, let's start with the first one. Pay attention to your dreams. The prayer is, thank you for tucking me into bed tonight and helping me enjoy a wonderfully restful uh, night's sleep. Archangel, Archangel Michael, I invite you into my dreams as my teacher, guide, and healer. Please allow me to understand this. Describe specific situation on a spiritual level and give me guidance. Okay. So, have you been dreaming? Have you been seeing your dreams? If so, what have you been seeing? What's been going on? Um, are there any patterns? Any symbolism? For some reason, I, I'm getting birds. Maybe some of you are seeing birds in your dreams, right? If you're seeing birds, the vibe that I'm getting from that is that it's not grounded. Maybe uh, not stationary. Like you, you can't really trust that. Um, and it, it could feel like there is a lack of stability. So the first thing I'm going to do for group one is write over on the insight board or on the insight section, stability, consider the stability of your relationship. How is it going? Okay. Okay, my pen died. I had to grab another pen. So as I was saying, 
you definitely want to take stability into consideration and think about your dreams. Um, have they been, have they changed recently? Have you been dreaming about maybe your grandparents or another relationship that might have been um, very instructional or really help shape your relationships and what you choose to do in your relationships now? Consider all of this, okay? And you want to focus on stability and asking yourself, you know, where is there stability in my relationship and maybe where isn't there stability? You know, why am I feeling this way? What experiences are happening? What am I witnessing that is making me feel this way? All right. So let's get into the tarot. So for the first card here, right? You started building, and this is related to stability. You started building, but then something in that foundation wasn't quite right. This is a root chakra issue, okay? So I'm going to write that as well. You might need to go back and do some root chakra training. Oh, I just got an idea, you guys. Ooh, I have to think about that. Okay, anyways, I'm not going to say anything about that. <laughs> I'm going to just hit you with it. Anyways, for the root chakra training, what you want to do is uh, you can use meditation music to help with that. My favorite um, meditation channel on YouTube is Meditative Mind. They have some great root chakra meditations. I like the Tibetan singing bowls, so I would definitely look for that. I'm just going to write that here um, in parentheses. Uh, meditative mind. Look up meditative mind for root chakra. Okay. And you can do their sleep meditation for that or do it in the morning time. Like while you're eating breakfast, just play it to get your root chakra active. And what I would do is maybe think about the question, you know, how is my relationship stable? How is it not? Where can I improve with that? And I would write about that to get that activated. So it seems like you worked on yourself, right? But then you didn't work on yourself quite enough. You only did so much. Maybe you met someone, you said, oh, they manifested, yay. You know, I got my person, but something is not stable. So, I mean, you can't build a strong relationship on a weak foundation or on an unstable foundation, okay? So that that's the main guidance. Moving on to card number two, you made progress, you're happy, and it at least looks and feels like what you want. You're experiencing a lot of growth. You know, maybe the work that you did do, you're seeing it reflected in the relationship, and that's great. But then it seems like the relationship is teetering out. Maybe you started out strong, but now it's kind of like, uh, you know, I'm not as happy. I'm not as excited. It feels like there's a lack of energy. Um around what used to be. So you might want to think about that too. Like this relationship feels like you are just at the beginning of getting invested. So how invested are you, right? And is it worth it? Is It seems like it's early enough to where you can say farewell now if you want to. And if not, then you need to do some work. Work on yourself and you need to communicate with your partner and say, hey, you know, we started off strong. I want us to keep going. Like, let's plan some some outings, some dates. You know, let's really make sure we keep the momentum going so that this relationship can flourish. Otherwise, it might not flourish or last as long as you want or it might fizzle out. OK, that's the general sentiment. So group one, the insight, stability. Do some root chakra training. Definitely look for meditative mind. Um, I will link something below for them for the root chakra. And ask yourself, how invested are you? Is it worth it for you to continue? Okay. Um, and if so, then how are you going to proceed to make it so that you don't lose the spice or the excitement that you initially had? So this is group one. That's your reading. Please comment, like, subscribe, click that bell notification. I have some new content coming up. 
Oh my God. And it's related to meditation. I'll tell you that. I won't say anything else, but I'm so excited. Ooh, I have been working all day on this YouTube channel. <laughs> There's so much. But anyways, follow me on Facebook at Clarity with Kim and please share this video. If there's another uh, romance pick card that you want me to do, definitely comment below and let me know. And um, thank you so much for watching. All right, group one. Bye. Group two. What's good, y'all? Look at your card. Romance angels are helping you. Yes. Yes, this is what we want. Dear guardian angels of my soulmate, thank you for preparing my soulmate and me for love, for giving us the motivation to make helpful, life-changing, and uh, ooh, where we at? <laughs> helpful life changes and for arranging for us to meet. Thank you for helping us recognize each other and have the courage to say hello so that we are or so that we can eventually delve into a truly intimate relationship. There we go. <laughs> this is a romance reading, so this card is a good sign, right? I'm here for it. I want to know what work you have done to get to this point. And you probably are going to want to consider that for yourself. What did you do to get to this point? You did some work, honey. You are clear for this. This relationship is a clear experience, at least. I'm not saying it's going to work out perfectly or whatever. But the overall vibe is that it's clear. So what work did you do? Take some time to contemplate that. Maybe you already know. Maybe you don't know, but you definitely, definitely want to consider what you have done because uh, you might want to go back and do more of that so that if if you end up um, meeting someone else or encountering someone else, that situation will be even better than this current one. All right. So the chariot is about forward moving, movement and alignment. You just broke free of something. Maybe you had a relationship pattern that wasn't serving you. And now you see, okay, you know, I'm making progress. Things are getting better. And it's like, okay, you know, this is good. Maybe this person isn't the one, but I'm on track. You have that assurance. Um, this card here. Uh, it's in reverse. I know people get scared when they see the devil card. It's really nothing to be scared of. Um, this is about you clearing the blockages. Whatever work you just did, I don't know what you did. You need to comment below and let us know. Because <laughs> we all need to do this work, honey. You have cleared a significant blockage. And it looks like um, there is a sense that you have more work to do. The thing I'm being guided to tell you is, yeah, maybe there is, but... <sighs> breathe enjoy the moment you just did all this work stop doing all the freaking work <laughs> let yourself live so you need to ask yourself how can i be present and enjoy this relationship maybe you're not doing that enough you might be hearing that from your partner hey i wish you would come out more or you know let's go have some more fun Instead of being like, no, I want to stay in or I need to work. No, go out. Let your hair down. How can I be present? Okay, how can I be present? Can you come up with some fun ideas? Go on Groupon. Seriously, go on Groupon. Look for some great little date ideas and have at it. Plan a couple's trip. Do something fun and let your hair down. Okay, romance angels are with you, honey. Okay, enjoy this time. This may be 
you know, a little summer love, summer romance situation. It could be the beginning of something long term, but overall the vibe is that whatever this is, it's going to be great and really reassuring for you, reassuring for your spirit, and just a big confirmation that all the work that you've done um, has not been in vain. So congratulations, group two. That is your reading. Please comment, uh, like, subscribe, thumbs up, click that bell notification and stay tuned because I'm going to start, um, I'm not going to say exactly, but I'm making meditation videos. I will say that you will see the first one up next week. So you definitely, definitely want to click that bell notification and stay tuned. Oh, I'm getting so many ideas. I have to stop and write down what I'm getting. I have to do some meditations for this series. Yeah, this is a series and I'm going to link the playlist for this series. Okay. Okay, so I'll include some meditations um, in that one. Oh, that would be so much fun. Yes. Okay, so um, just stay tuned for that. Yes, honey, stay tuned for that. And here are your insights again, group two. I will see you doing the next reading. Thank you so much. What's good, group three? Listen. I don't know what kind of traumas and dramas you'd have been through in your previous relationship or relationships, child. But look here. New beginnings and a fresh, uh, fresh start. Okay. Thank you for bringing new opportunities and offering support and for helping me release and heal my past. Fill me with trust as I experience these life changes. So this is about where relationships are headed, right? So I'm definitely getting the vibe that you have been through some things. Look at this card. This person has been through some things. <laughs> okay. Now you're coming out of it, but you're still healing. And I'm being encouraged to tell you to focus on the new beginnings and the fresh start because you're still healing. Uh, whatever person or um, relationship you have attracted thus far, they're going to be reflective of your current state of healing. Okay. So I want you to be mindful of that. Maybe they're looking like the last person you, you dated and you're like, I, I thought I healed from this. You healed from it partially. You need to go back and do some more clearing. So that's absolutely what I'm going to recommend you do is some clearing okay and stay tuned because i'm gonna end up doing a um meditation series to go along with this pick a card series i just realized that that's what i'm gonna be doing oh my gosh i'm giving myself so much work so for clearing you definitely need to think about the past what have i attracted in the past what am i attracting now and what do i want to attract uh, what I attracted, right? Let me move my little writing over, like all the way over because I need space. Okay, what I've attracted, what I am attracting, And what do I want to attract now? This is what is my relationship intention? Okay. You need to think about that and get really clear about that. In your conscious and subconscious mind. So I'm going to encourage you to do the clearing first. Clearing could be doing a salt scrub, taking a salt bath. You can also use Dr. Till's Epsom salt scrub. I love that scrub. It works really good to just clear your energy body. And then you can go and ask these questions, group three. Because what's going to happen is you'll keep perpetuating those patterns. Even though you're getting closer, it'll be like, oh, this person seems like they're a good fit. But then they'll start to exhibit patterns. And that's no good for you. That's not your intention. 
That's not what you want. You want an aligned, an aligned experience. Archangel Michael is saying that that experience is yours to have, but you definitely need to do this work. Okay. So that's it for your reading group number three. Once again, the, the insight clearing what I've attracted. What am I attracting and what do I want to attract now? Definitely stay tuned for those meditation videos that will be included in this series. I'm going to link all that below. There will be a playlist. You can follow me on Facebook. Definitely book a reading with me if you're interested in getting more insight at Clarity with Kim on Facebook. Thank you for watching. Comment like this video, click the bell notification because I have more videos coming in this romance series. This seems to be the most popular thing on this, on the channel, and I'm definitely going to keep it going for you. Thank you. Group three. Take care. Did you do it? Huh? What? Subscribe. I love you. Okay. You subscribe. Bye.